What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another math puzzle. In this one, the question is as follows. Make a true equation using non-numerical symbols. Now, just a quick caveat. One thing that people often say is like, hey, what if I just make this not equal? And well, that's not going to be a viable solution. So we want a true equation, meaning we want that equal sign to be there. And when we say non-numerical symbols, you can't do a square, you can't do a cube, no adding of any numbers, but just any symbols are fair game. Hit that pause button and see if you can figure it out. When you're ready, hit play. I'll give you the explanation. All right, so when we look at something like this, we look at 100 and we know that the factors are like 2, 5, 10, 1, etc., 20, so on and so forth, 25. So nothing with 7, right? So what do we have to do as a result? We have to modify these numbers. So this is one solution. There might be more, but it says any non-numerical symbols. Well, guess what? I can add some decimals in here, right? So I can make that 0.7. I can make that 0.7. Why is that beneficial? Because now I can throw in a division. Check this out. What's 7 divided by 0.7? That's going to give me 10, right? 7 divided by 7 is 1, but 7 divided by 0.7 is going to give me 10. And that's really cool because if I do it again, 7 divided by 0.7, I get another 10. Now, I just multiply 10 by 10, and guess what? You get 100. So that's how you do it. Now, if you guys have other ways to do that, make sure to leave those methods in the comment section. But this is the solution that I came up with. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please click that like button. If you want to see more math puzzles on the regular, make sure to click subscribe. Thank you guys so much for joining. I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.